So here we're going to be working on hitting off the tee and we're doing um, working on outside pitches. So we set the tee up on the outside part of the plate and towards the back, as you see here. And we want to hit these, where Joby, left field or right field? Right. Right field. Please put the tee back in the proper position before you put the ball on it. Don't swing, please. And we can adjust the tee now. So please put it to the lowest position. See, what we like to do is put it in three to four different positions. The lowest, the bottom of the strike zone, the top of the strike zone, and somewhere in the middle. The only thing is our net is, I think it's seven foot net instead of, uh, what do they sell now? 10 foot nets. So sometimes they bounce back at us. Now let's put it in the highest position, or a higher position. Yeah, letters. You got hit. Uh, I'm fine. It's hard to hit the higher pitches, like here. Because we have a fence, plus this net isn't that big, and when you hit high pitches, if they go up, so... Let's set up on the middle of the plate now. Hit them up the middle. You want me to just do regular? Yeah. So you can, I usually like to set, you could set the tee up there or kind of on the plate a little bit. And the idea is when you're hitting outside, your hips don't rotate as much. When you're hitting up the middle, you're more square. You have, you have more rotation, but not as much as you would have when we're hitting inside, which we'll do in a minute. That's because they're bouncing off the wall. I have to move the net closer. Finally. Can you set up for inside? I thought we're doing lower and higher. You'll have to move the plate too as well because we just don't have enough room. Move the plate about like one to two feet. Keep going, those are inches. <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, you have more room. That's gonna bounce right back at you. Hey, set it up inside a little more so we show them a little more pull. Like right here? Yeah. And don't move so far away, you're pulling. There we go, that's pulling. Hey, we're in the middle of a video, so just grab three or four balls. You don't have to collect them all. Throw a handful in real quick. Sorry guys, I don't have great editing software yet, so it's much easier just to film and upload and then edit. That's the goal for, one of the goals for this winter time.
And I guess as you watch this video, you can also notice where he sets up. How close, how far from the plate. And it should be the same. But a lot of times if you stand too close, you'll get beat on the inside pitches. There'll be no time to turn. You'll get jammed. You'll get jammed. And you won't even be pulling out. You won't even be hitting outside pitches the other way. You'll hit them up the middle or pull them. And um, when you're playing with against pitchers who know how to pitch a little bit, there won't be much success. Um, maybe lower it. Yeah, lower it for one or two and then raise it for one or two. No, that was fine. It was at the, the T is really great, I mean, because you have response. You can see if you're hitting the ball straight down into the ground or if you're undercutting it and it's going straight up. I think pretty much 99% of Jovi's hits were line drive so far. High. And you can do high pitches as well. Yeah, this might hurt me. Don't do it too high. I don't think you're going to swing at a pitch that high in a game. Jovi does like high pitches, and he can hit a lot of those out. But, he, I mean, it can't be a pitch in your face. Well, I do do that. Like, on the pitching machine, I have it, like, right here. And I hit it out. I don't know about that. I think you think it's that high, and then it sinks a little. Not the fast ones. Pitches that high inside are impossible to hit unless you're waiting for that pitch. So you have to eliminate all other pitches. You'll never get your bad head out that high in time unless that's all you're looking for. Like if I tell you it's coming. All right, guys, so I think that's the video. And it ended up with a trick shot, so that's good. Sorry that it was seven minutes long, but I think there's some good stuff here. I hit a trick shot. It was like here, and then it bounced there. All right, say goodbye. Bye. Next video.